I want to illustrate simple harmonic motion using a mass spring system. We're suspending the mass from the spring and the other end of the spring is attached to a, a fixed rigid object. The period of the motion is the time required for one oscillation. Boom, boom, boom. So it's the time between booms. And uh, that's denoted by t in this equation. It's 2 pi, the square root of the mass of the, uh, that you're hanging on the end of the, of the spring, and the spring constant k that's related to Hooke's law that we talked about before. The other important parameter is the amplitude of the motion. The, in order to determine the amplitude, you have to first figure out where the equilibrium position is. And that's the position at which this mass is not moving at all. So it looks to be at about 19 centimeters from the support up here. The amplitude is defined as the distance between the equilibrium position, and I'm talking here about the top of the, of the brass cylinder here, where it meets the, the meter stick here at about 19 centimeters. The amplitude is defined as the, ex the amount of excursion from the equilibrium position. So to create an amplitude, a motion with an amplitude of one centimeter, I'm gonna wanna move this mass one centimeter up and release it. And so now it's oscillating roughly between 18 centimeters and 20 centimeters. I could have done the same thing by moving it down to 20 centimeters and then the overall motion is still two centimeters from top to bottom, but only one centimeter between the equilibrium position and one of the maximum positions. So now we want to look at the dependence of the period on the mass and the spring constant and also the amplitude. First, uh, first the amplitude, and in order to just get a rough idea about how the period depends on amplitude, then let me look at a couple of different amplitudes. Here's a, here's a fairly small amplitude. Boom, 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 boom. Here's a medium amplitude. Boom, 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 boom. And here's a large one. Boom, 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 boom. Then back to the small one again, and we're just getting a rough measurement here. Boom, boom, boom. I think you can tell that the amplitude, or that the period doesn't seem to be depending much, if at all, on the amplitude. And in fact, the mathematics bears this out. The period, T, has no dependence on the amplitude of the motion. But it does depend on the mass. So let's look at the period as a function of the mass by adding a, a bigger mass. You can remember how fast the last one was going. Uh, first thing to notice is that our equilibrium position is no longer at 19 centimeters. It's down at around 36 centimeters. And then if I give it uh, some motion and look at the period, the period is now boom, 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 boom. It's slower, takes longer. So that means um, a, uh, the period is the time between uh, a time for com one complete oscillation. So that's from here back down to here again. That time is now longer with a bigger mass. Exactly as predicted by the equation, if you increase the mass, it's in the numerator here, uh, that will increase the period or the time for one complete oscillation. And then bringing this to the extreme, even longer period, equilibrium position much lower, um, boom, 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 boom. Very, very long period motion. So how does this depend on the spring constant K? 
because the dependence on the mass down. The period depends on one over the square root of the spring constant. If I use two springs instead of one, I thereby doubled the spring constant. So let's compare the period with just one, one spring and this large mass. Boom, 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 boom. And the same mass with two springs. You know first that the equilibrium position is higher because we got more force pulling it up to counteract gravity. Boom, boom, boom. A little bit faster. Faster period. So a shorter period that is. So if you increase the spring constant, you're going to decrease the period. It's a shorter period uh, and when that period, the time between oscillations is smaller, that means it's a faster oscillation. It takes less time to do one oscillation. So the mass spring system, its period depends on the, the mass, the spring constant, but not the amplitude of the motion. And um, the frequency you can always get the, the frequency from the period as one over the period. So if you like thinking in terms of, of frequencies better than thinking in terms of periods, um, the higher the period, the longer the period, the shorter the frequency and vice versa. Thanks very much.